Hey lovely, it's Katie, and today I'm gonna to share with you 14 things I wish I knew before I got braces. Number one is watch out for the mouth stretcher. Before I went in and got my braces, I was anticipating the actual application of the braces might be a little bit uncomfortable, but it really wasn't, which was a fantastic surprise. The only thing that was a little bit uncomfortable was the mouth stretcher. Your orthodontist might put this in your mouth so that they can have just better access to your teeth. My mistake was I did not put chapstick on before I went to my appointment. So that's really what I'd recommend is make sure you moisturize your lips before your appointment so then that won't be an issue for you. My orthodontist just ended up putting some Vaseline on my lips for me to make it a little bit more comfortable, but definitely prepare yourself with some lip balm. Number two, you will have to relearn your lips. And what I mean by this is your lips are used to just being over your teeth when they're smooth and when you get brackets put on it kind of feels like they're almost getting stuck every time you close your mouth so you might find yourself almost like adjusting your mouth every time you finish a sentence or if you just have your mouth closed um, trying to figure out like where to place your lips it's, it's kind of an odd thing but you get used to it really quickly and it doesn't last very long Number three, you might have a lot of extra spit. Our mouth doesn't know the difference between food that we're putting in it and the brackets that are now in our mouth. So you might have a lot of extra spit for the first little while, which is a little annoying, but it goes away pretty quickly, so not the end of the world. Number four, you might have a little bit of a lisp. Now, this might be barely noticeable at all, or it might be a little bit more obvious, but you might have a little bit of a tricky time talking and enunciating your words when you first get your braces put on, just because your mouth is not used to having them in there. But just keep on talking and you will get used to it very quickly. Number five, you might have juicier lips. So this one I think most of us will find as a positive, but your brackets will actually sort of push your lips out a little bit so it can make them look a little bit fuller, a little bit plumper, and I'm totally fine with that. Number six, the pain in the first week. Of course, so many people warn me about this, but I really wasn't prepared for the full amount of pain. I was kind of thinking that I'd still be able to like chew gently, maybe like at the back of my mouth, it would be fine. No, not the case. Your teeth are gonna be so sore, you literally won't be able to bite on anything. Even like chewing a banana hurts. Prepare yourself for that. Have lots of soft foods ready at home so that you can make it through that first week without having to starve. The one little positive here though is your teeth really aren't going to hurt much unless you're overdoing what they can handle. So if you're not chewing on things or bumping your teeth on whatever, then it really shouldn't hurt very much. It's only when you're pushing it past what they can do. Number seven, watch out for sores. So these I actually found were worse than the pain of chewing. Maybe not worse, but at least when you're chewing, you can avoid that pain by not chewing things. So what happens is this. We put the brackets in our mouth, our mouth is not used to it, and as it's sort of rubbing from us talking and such, we develop these really uncomfortable sores inside our mouth. And then of course, the more you talk, the more it rubs them, the more it hurts, the worse they get. I found it really challenging being at work. I talk a lot at work, or if I I'm hanging out with friends on the weekend and I'm still kind of going through that process of almost like toughening up my mouth after I just have my braces on or maybe they've just been tightened, then it can definitely be a little bit uncomfortable. So if you can, try to limit the amount of talking that you can do. But this leads me right into number eight. And number eight is learn to use dental wax because if we're talking about these sores, yes, your mouth will toughen up over time and they won't be so bad anymore. But in the meantime, you'll wanna have dental wax available all the time so that when you do have one of those sores starting, you can take some of the dental wax, put it over your bracket and actually have some relief. For me, I, for whatever reason, had the hardest time figuring out how to, how to use dental wax. So I kept trying to use it and it kept falling off so fast. It might stick for 10 minutes, 
20 minutes if I was lucky. And the thing to remember with dental wax is you just need to make sure the area that you're placing it is 100% dry before you put it on there, which can be a little challenging in your mouth. So make sure it's super dry, put the dental wax on, and it will usually stay for several hours instead of just like the 15 to 20 minutes I was getting in the beginning. Number nine, relearning how to smile. This one I found so funny. I wasn't expecting this at all. When you have braces on, you go to smile like normal and maybe how you smiled before leaves your brackets showing in a really weird way or your lips are being just pushed around strangely and it can look really funny. So it can take a while to figure out how to just smile normally or smile in photos. So that's what got me is I would uh, be like taking photos with friends or something and I'm like, what is going on? My smile looks so funny. It's just a little bit of trial and error and you'll figure that out pretty quickly. Number 10, dealing with coffee and wine stains. So yes, we all know that coffee, wine, uh, dark teas can stain our teeth, but what I mean specifically with this is when you're drinking those things, they will really cling around your brackets and it can make your braces look really dirty, which is kind of gross, I know. I find if I'm drinking coffee, for instance, the coffee color kind of clings around my brackets while I'm drinking it and it just looks like I have this like brown stuff around my brackets. It's the doesn't look cute. So for me, my solution to this is instead of having my coffee once I get to work or on my way to work, I just have my coffee at home before I leave. I brush my teeth after and I'm good to go so I don't have to worry about that. Even my wine choices, if I'm having dinner out with people, I'll usually go for a white or a rosé versus the red and I'll just save my red wine drinking for at home. Number 11, how much food gets stuck in your braces? This is crazy. It's a lot. I figured stuff would get stuck in there, of course, but I just was not prepared for how much would get stuck in your braces when you eat. So you kind of pick up a couple of tricks along the way as well of sort of how you chew things or where you chew things, I guess, and it helps a little bit. Always have a glass of water when you're eating so you can swish around. You never want to be left with a whole bunch of food stuck in your teeth. Not good. Number 12, Elastics are important. I knew elastics would be important, but I didn't realize how much. One of the biggest reasons our treatment times can take longer than what we're originally told is because we might not be cooperating with our elastics. Of course, there can be other factors that slow it down, but that's a huge part of it. If I'm skipping days and then wearing them, it's like you're not making any progress. So a lot of it relies on your cooperation to actually make that work. Always be sure to follow their instructions to a T. If they say 12 hours, make sure it's 12 hours that they're on there. Number 13, gaps. This doesn't relate to everybody that has braces, but I'll tell you what I mean by this. So I got braces because I had some mild crowding in my teeth, and I was surprised when part of the process was to actually create gaps so that they can then move the teeth around where they wanna place them. So I actually had pretty big gaps, like up here at the front of my teeth for a while, while they were making the space so that they could then move my front teeth around. Um, and I wasn't expecting that. Now those are closed up and things are just sort of finishing up and settling into place. So no more gaps for me. I think I'm done with those for now. And number 14 is lip fillers. This can depend on the injector, but a lot of cosmetic nurses won't perform lip fillers on clients that have braces because when your lips are injected, the braces underneath can make it actually set lumpy or bumpy. It can be challenging to get it to sit smooth. And because of that, a lot of people with braces will choose not to get lip fillers until after their braces are off. So how about you guys? If you've had braces before, are there any things that you wish you knew beforehand? If you haven't but are considering getting braces, do you have any questions or concerns about what it might be like that I maybe didn't touch on today? I would love to hear them in the comments below. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day.